This is going to be a reading for the sign of Pisces. Pisces, my readings are timeless, so when you see them is when you're meant to hear them. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Also, please don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you can get alerts when my videos are posted. Pisces, if you're new to my platform, welcome. Please hit that subscription button. It would totally mean the world to me. All right, so let's get into this reading. It is, they thought they could teach you a lesson. Wanted to dim your light. Spirit doesn't agree. All right, so somebody thinking that they can kind of shut you down or somebody thinking that they can make you small or somebody trying to make you think they can uh, make you you feel a certain type of way. They thought they could make you feel a certain type of way. Um, and just so y'all know, um, I did go live at exactly 7 o'clock today. So I'm very proud of myself. But then I had an issue. So I had to shut the live down and start again. So that did happen. Um, somebody trying to mark their territory um, also is what I'm gathering and getting here. So somebody wants people to know that something that is yours belonging to them or something i don't know somebody's just giving off a weird energy y'all and let me tell y'all same thing i had a uh the members live last night i was over there and it is posted and it is there um i went live in the members area last night and i waited for like 10 minutes to see uh who was coming in um, and I was kind of tired yesterday because if you followed my yesterday's journey, then you would know that, um, I had did another live. It was four o'clock in the morning. Um, and so I had been up all day cause I didn't take a nap yesterday either. So I was tired. Um, good morning, Catherine. Good morning, Aaron. And so, um, I went into the members area to do the live last night. And so I sat there and then I started talking to, um, Kisa cause she came into the other chat and then, um, so I got off the live because, you know, I was a little bit tired. I had a little draining day yesterday. I, I got a lot done, but it was, took a lot of energy. And that's what I named the, the private chat, right? Then this morning, um, I'm talking to Keita again. Hey, son, Siri. I'm talking to Keita again um, when I woke up and I told her that I had already realized somehow the, pri the, the members meeting live got put on private. And that's the second time that happened to me because this morning I went live. And just a minute ago, I went live at exactly seven o'clock and then I'm like, okay, so where's the people at? And then I, so I shut that live down, realized that it was on unlisted. So something about like trying to cover up my messages or something is happening and it's weird. Um, as y'all see here, it's already starting to do a thing. Um, somebody tried to do something, backstab an empress or they didn't know that you were an empress. Um... They thought they could teach you a lesson, but then they, they didn't even realize who you were. Trying to dim your light, spirit don't agree. Um, it wasn't for them. It's given 30s. Somebody could be in their 30s. Um, something about your 30s could be important. So if you're already beyond 30, it could be something about your 30s um, is when this could have started. But somebody could be in their 30s right now. But it has finished and it has ended for better or for worse. So ruin, defeat, failure, insolence overthrowing somebody trying to overthrow an empress try to take you out of your seat wanted to dim wanted to dim your light um hold on y'all i gotta get back to the chat because i don't know why it kicks me out but um so good morning kevin how are you this morning happy wednesday everybody sun series says happy wednesday um i love you guys i'm so tired it's been a long month girl last night i just felt listen overwhelmed i ain't gonna lie i stopped saying good morning because we are not in morning well i ain't in morning either but i don't know what else to say so and all this other stuff seems like it just don't roll off right so until i find something that i like to say because grand rising i don't like that i mean we of course want to have a grand rising but for some reason it don't feel so I don't know if it's just that I haven't found my, you know, greeting um, as to, you know, I like welcome. So I do like that. But 
that's like the beginning. Or maybe I should just say Bismillah. I love saying that because it's the beginning. You should say that at the beginning. So Bismillah. Always start with God. That's what I'm going to start saying. Bismillah. Okay. So let's always start with God. Um, let me tell y'all too. So let me see. I don't know if everybody else is feeling the same exact way as far as like the drainage, like the energy that's in the air seems so draining right now. And it's, but it's so much energy. It's like a something lit up a, a power pack. All right. So, um, y'all, the term is, um, Bismillah. And I'm trying to figure out how to spell it for y'all. So that way I think it's B I S M I. A L A B I S M I L L A H. It's Arabic. Um, it is a phrase that means in the name of God. So that occurs as a very start of Quran and opens the Bismillah. So I'm going to say that because I like that in the name of God. So that way we start and finish and end with God. Okay. So not that I want to try to mix anything or, you know, and I don't want anybody to be offended. And if you are, then talk to God about it because in the name of God, how can you be mad at that? And I just taught somebody something. So they might not even, you know, knew, know of the word or anything, but that's a good term. B-I-S-M-I-L-L-A-H. And it's the beginning and opening up everything that you should do. So when you start something, that's what they say. Say Bismillah. So I'm going to say that. Bismillah, everybody. Welcome and thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting the chat. Y'all all see what the title is? Um, somebody turn, trying to turn something upside down. So I'm going to read it in both ways because I feel like somebody trying to dim your light is basically just letting you know what they tried to do. And, um, you know, also like your blessings, the blessings that were bestowed upon you. So you have wish fulfillment, Pisces. Um, somebody very selfish, selfishness, greed, materialism, mistakes, um, imperfections. So I, all I heard is, um, they can't see you, but they want to be you or something. So um, can't compete where they don't compare us, given that that vibe. Everything has turned out well. Enjoy your success. Happiness, compassion, trusting in the universe, having high standards, high mind, high moral, high value, and optimism, okay? So somebody try to turn you upside down. Yes, bismillah. Kevin, um, I feel you. 30 and blissful. And you write about the morning thing, yeah. Bismillah. Yes, Kevin. Bismillah. In the name of God. It's Arabic. All right, we got unions, partnerships, and connections happening here. Um, somebody may have tried to, you know, I feel like send somebody in your direction. It didn't work. Um, because it's giving me the, the phrase of the... Um, Chicken noodle soup, chicken noodle soup, chicken noodle soup with a soda on the side. Let's get it, let's get it, let's, okay, hey, chicken noodle soup, you just gave me an energy rush, so I like it. Your spirits are up and good, that's great. Um, We got balance, attraction, partnership, harmony, mirth, equality, and balance. So connections, partnerships, things coming together, choices, duality, and a settled energy, okay, <laughs> with a soda on the side, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, all right, y'all, let's get it, all right, so we got partnerships, connections, and it all starts off in the beginning with God, okay, so in the beginning, there was God, so something is changing, y'all, just so y'all are aware, um, why did I see a clip last night and I sent it in a group chat? I might put it in the, uh, matter of fact, I'm going to put it in the members area if, it, if they let me, um, because I might have to download it and then put it in there. But, um, it was saying Donald Trump was talking about the, the 144,000 y'all. And as y'all know, him being a president, uh, ex-president, y'all know he know okay and so that man explained it and he had a great explanation and uh no i it's the explanation that he gave but it was about the knowledge that he knew that they know of the hundred and forty four thousand that we are active or activating or they are active or activating depending upon who you are and what you are okay so and the message seemed to be very clear and i don't really you know me and Big D, <laughs> you know, 
That's all I'm going to say. Believe in your personal power and be ready for the opportunity, every opportunity you have worked for. Okay, so you're about to be on Google because y'all heard me say, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Chicken noodle soup popped in at the right time. Because the universe is saying, let's get it. So they're saying vision, the vision beyond, um, or the vision into. Be ready for the opportunities. You've been working for this, so it's yours. No devil in hell or walking this earth is going to be able to stop it. And the devils be the people. So them the pe that's what I'm talking about. 2442. All right, so 2442. Why does that seem like a future date? All right, I don't know if anybody's here to check the numbers, but that's what it gave me, 2442. Like, that's in the future. Um, um, they watching us. Oh, oh, um, Sun Siri, I'm going to see if I can get it and put it in the chat. I, I'm going to put it in the um, members area, too, but I'll see if I can put it on my wall. Um, let's see. What's that number, Sun, Sun Siri? I want to... Oh, I've been on go mode all week. I know that's right, okay? Oh, dude, 2042 is the supernova. Okay, is that what it is? All right, we got transformation and change here. Butterflies floating around. Oh, it was on the clock. Oh, it is. 717. What's the message from 717? 717 is on the clock. 2442, walking into your life with hands of blessings and abundance. I know that's right. You heard me just say um, chicken noodle soup. You popped in at the right time, but that was the message. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Solar flash. All right, okay, so y'all, y'all already know, and I've been seeing a lot of, you know, things about this day coming up, and I, I'm not getting what they're getting, so I don't know, you know, if I'm wrong and they're right, or if they're right and I'm wrong, Um, but the message that I'm getting ain't what they getting, ain't what they giving, so I'm getting a lot of their fear mongering and stuff and i'm being told not to believe nothing that they say so everybody has to do what they want everything has worked out um everything you have worked for is coming together be ready for every opportunity you've worked for and everything you have worked for is coming together believe in your personal power but then also we have here you don't know your own strength until it is tested celebrate your success with those that you care about and think things through from all perspectives. Why do they give me a feeling like whenever, like there's a plan that has to be made, an escape plan or something. So somebody's trying to come up with an escape plan. Y'all, and they, all they gave me was like, you do the crime, you do the time, right? Mm, I don't know who this is for, because good God, it's giving a, the whole different message on the sidelines. Um, okay, so say if you a criminal, oh, should I be telling this? All right. Also, can somebody tell me what two, three, four means? Because y'all see that, right? Two, three, four. We got 80s babies, 90s babies, 50s babies, like ancestors. Because I don't know if anybody alive would, would still be alive from the 50s and the 30s. That seemed like that's some old, old. So dealing with some old stuff, but somebody trying to mark their territory. But what it gave me was, if you doing crimes with people, it's almost like we planning out every step. So we can already do a heist. Me and Kevin. Me, Kevin, son, here, we can already do a heist, right? Y'all, we not, but I'm just putting it like that. So we can already do a heist. And then we going to all organize and say, you know, like, okay, Kevin, you the wheel man, all right? Sun Siri, you the, uh, you crack the safe, all right? I'm, I'm going to watch the people, make sure everybody stay where they're supposed to stay, okay? And then, so we make the plan. We put our, everything together. This is time we're going to go in, this, that, and the third, yada, 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 whatever it is, right? Whatever the plan is. Okay. But it was like, we're going to plan for success, but it's saying you got to plan for the worst part too. So if something go wrong, it's basically planning the whole part out. Like, all right, if this go wrong, this is what we got to do. If this go wrong, this is what we got to do. Meaning like, okay, when, all right, we don't want nothing to happen, right? But if by any chance one of y'all get caught, this is what you say. Because it's almost like giving, like, it's everything that needs to be done ahead of time. So when you get caught, um, and I don't know why it's giving me the thing, and I don't know if this is true, but my brother told me about it yesterday, and, you know, so he was saying something about, uh, you know, 
it's something about something being processed, okay? So that was the thing, processing, because I don't want to say what he said, because, you know. But anyway, saying something about uh, uh, agency, and that's what they said. They process, right? And so as soon as he said that, it made me feel like, what the? The word didn't sound right. So processing don't sound like they're going to come back. It almost sounds like they're going to be missing. You know what I'm saying? That's what it gave me. Anyway, so we playing it out. So Kevin, Kevin, for some reason, the cops pull up on Kevin and Kevin, um, you know, they block Kevin in. So Kevin can't get out. Um, meanwhile, me and Sun Siri, we done did the job and now we don't got no wheel man because the wheel man, and although he ain't done nothing wrong, but he done something wrong because he's aiding in a bed in a crime, right? So now they done got the wheel man locked up. Kevin, sorry, but you, you got to go right now. All right, so me and Sun Siri, we dip. We, we you know, find an escape route because we done playing, we done escaped through the vent and we done shimmy down into the mu museum next door and we done blended in with the crowd and now we done, you know, we on our way out. But Kevin got caught, so now they're um, harassing Kevin and they saying, Kevin, um, we know that you, did, you wasn't in the building, but we know you know who you brought in. So who did you come in here with? We got 333 three, three also. We know you came in here. It was three of y'all because we saw y'all. We saw you when you pulled up. We saw that. Now, who was that? So Kevin going to be like, because we didn't already gave out the plan, right? So Kevin already knows to say that this person's name is Rebecca Robinson, right? So somebody's initial start with R, first, middle, last. Um, and then we got me, uh, Monica uh shabazz or something okay so somebody's initials is ms okay first middle and last and these are the real initials because this is how they're giving it to me okay um <laughs> damn bro that's crazy my baby dad just went through something similar oh my god the, okay so are you doing that chicken noodle soup because you the one that came in but then all of a sudden they started giving it to me like this all right so me and um Sun Siri, we we out, okay? So now we on the next thing smoking because we already got our passports and everything already together. We already know Kevin and got books and he on a shaky ground right now because we hoping that he follows the program because if he does what we already planned in nature, it looks bad because Kevin got caught. But if Kevin does what we told him to do, then Kevin should be meeting us on a designated island that we already planned for everybody to be on. Because we're going to Aruba, okay? So, Kevin, the police got Kevin. He in handcuffs. Me and Sun Tzu is on our way to motherfucking Aruba, okay? Um, plan goes off without a hitch. We land in Aruba. We already got the huts ready. This, that, and the third. All right, so, and everybody, we already got the bag. So somehow we didn't did all the, the thing. So this is where they're saying that this is the plan. The part that Kevin plays is now more important. So each one of us would have had our own part to play because if I had got booked, I would have been saying something different than what Kevin is saying. I would have been saying, you know, whatever it was that we laid out. So it's basically like everybody having to stick to the plan in order for you to get away. So check this out. And mind y'all, it works. Because if you planned it out right, you already knew all the things because we had already had the inside scoop. And I ain't going to tell y'all how we had the inside scoop, but we already had the inside scoop, so we knew it would work. So Kevin gets the book. They start running down all these questions and stuff to Kevin. And they like, uh, you know, Kevin, who's your people? Um, why did y'all do this? But they don't got no fingerprints. They don't got no evidence. And as long as Kevin sticks to the script, everybody's going to walk away. But if they shake Kevin down... And they start saying, well, we'll give you less time and, and um, you know, you're going to walk free. We'll make a deal with you if you tell us the people because we didn't got away with $10 billion. OK, so now we're sitting on Aruba in an island with $10 billion and all Kevin has to do is trust us. So it's like the spirit saying, trust the spirit. You got to trust the spirit. And although y'all don't don't be mad at me because I know I just gave y'all a crime and then I'm saying trust the spirit. But I'm just saying, so don't be mad. Just chill, little Bill. It's just a story. Okay. Anyway, so Kevin goes in and Kevin um does exactly what we supposed to do. Mind you, they set Kevin free because Kevin said everything right. So Kevin is now set free. But the other part is this. Kevin can't now just fly to Aruba because now Kevin got a tail. We already knew Kevin was going to get a tail because of the fact that why would they not put a tail on Kevin? Because we just got away with something and Kevin gave all the right answers because Kevin said, you know, this, 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 and this, they couldn't track nothing down. They ain't got no evidence, y'all. They had no evidence. So as long as he could trust us, he now has to realize that we sitting on an island with $9 billion that he can't come get yet. 
would Kevin trust us? You see what I'm saying? So I don't know if that makes any sense to y'all, but let me see. Because to me, uh, Kevin said uh, 1133 means lawyer. Okay, so somebody about to need a lawyer. Somebody going, you know, having a court situation. You may have ended up in court. Um, let me see, y'all. Let me go back to the comments because they made a lot of comments. Um, we got two... 24 and 42, walking into your life path with hands full of blessings and abundance. Sun Siri, mm-hmm. She says solar flash. 717 is new beginnings and opportunities. Dallas, um, Kevin said, 714, believers in the tribulation will mourn the loss of their martyr fellow believers. Chicken noodle soup, what you was going to say. Um, 234, extra, put extra effort into the endeavors. Um... 234, it is used to refer to a deed. Uh-oh, so that's property, an act, an occupation, or other's work. Okay, so definitely an act and an action. So you had to trust the situation or an occupation. So what we were doing wasn't legal. So just, I don't know, something about that was important. So something that you did that may have not been legal, but I, I feel like you get away with it anyway because they gave you grace or you got rid of, you. there was a loophole. All right, so yeah, so that might be how you went under the radar because we got to remember what the title of the reading is. That was the message. Say we gone on God. Okay, I feel like that little mo M effort is plotting on me. I'll be watching. I have a plan for my backup plan. Yes. So the plan for the backup plan. 30, 1133, Kevin put a lawyer. Damn, bro, that's crazy. My baby dad just went through something similar. His boy got locked up and his boy said something about him being investigated. Now my baby dad spooked. We ain't cool, cool right now, though. So I ain't for shit to worry about. Karma is a bitch, though, my boy. I'll tell you that. Who didn't stick to the plan? Somebody ain't stick to the shit, though. Caught your live on the first try. Listening closely. I'm listening with Lil. Uh, Lil. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Um, good morning. Good morning to me. Say good morning. Good morning. Um, chicken noodle soup. He got a case. Um, Tamisa says she's late this morning. Damn, that's crazy. And yep, I trust y'all. Yes. Okay, Kevin said he trusts us. So if everything goes down the way it's supposed to go, then Kevin can trust that we got his money and we over here chilling. The whole plan went accordingly. But it's basically saying like somebody might not be sticking to the plan. Somebody telling. Um, so somebody wanted to dim your light. Spirit doesn't agree. Spirit saw what they were doing, They what they were trying to do behind the scenes. So somebody in their case is not sticking to the plan and somebody got told on. But I also feel like because Spirit is always watching, it's a no-go. You How are you going to try to attack an empress that didn't do anything to you? And so then we got the law. So I feel like it's spiritually. So somebody getting spiritually dealt with and to me, I don't know about y'all, what y'all think about it, but I think spiritual um, court is worse than real 3D court because I feel like spiritual court can hinder blessings and things of that nature. Real court could too if you get thrown in jail, but you could still be blessed even in the middle of jail. Um, spiritual court seems to me, and y'all can, you know, put y'all twist and spin on it. Spiritual court seems to me like when you get cast or turned out away from God, man, you just outside butt naked and good God. Like, it's like you don't have a hope, a prayer, a wish, a dream out here. So, somebody said, um, Chicken Noodle Soup said they threw an MF -er under the bus. So, somebody got thrown under the bus um, and spiritually spanked. Yes. To me, when you get spiritually spanked, and I done got spiritually spanked before. I'm going to just let y'all know because I told y'all before. I helped somebody that I was not supposed to help. And I knew I wasn't supposed to help the person, but I loved them, so I did it anyway. Um, yeah, won't do it again. So I, I learned the first time it happened. I don't got to get taught over and over and over again um, not to do something that I'm not supposed to do. So the first time was enough for me. Like, I feel like I lost grace for almost at least four to six years. And I don't know about y'all, but yeah, it wasn't good. So to me, um. Mm, and I'm also one that says I can do whatever I want to do. So that should tell y'all, like, I have a very healthy fear of God. So I know there's stuff that you can do that is, you know, not going to get you kicked out of grace. But when you putting your hands in meddling 
and other people's stuff when God already told you I'm dealing with this person and you need to walk away? Like, go on, get now. I'm trying to help you because they give you all types of warnings before they start spanking. Okay? Before spirit put their hands and feet and paws on you, they be giving us warnings. It says pride go up before the fall when you could think that you could do stuff because that was one of the warnings that I got. Oh, you think you could do it? Then do it then. Show me that you're so great. And just so y'all know, even in the process of that, I was still trying to figure out how if I could do it myself, even in the process, because I was at least a little bit, you know, slick enough because I like loopholes. So I'm going to just tell y'all that I, I call myself the queen of loopholes. If I can figure out how to go under the radar and still get what I want done or do what I want done. Yes. Well, not under the radar. It's in the radar, but enough not to get my head knocked off because I didn't already got my head knocked off. And I don't ever want to get kicked out of the grace, of the goodwill of God ever again, okay? So, I know to keep my hands and feet on the right side of the line. Although I'm going to stay in the middle, I still keep my hands, feet, and everything inside of the line, okay? So, know that. Um, <laughs> and I ain't playing. So, um, didn't do anything to my husband and he left a couple weeks ago to run amok in these streets. Well, um, you have to do what you have to do for you. But when that happened with me, I still stayed within the lines. It's basically coloring with inside of the lines. To me, the marriage and the, the confines is, a, okay, so although they didn't honor the marriage, and I'm talking about me, not you, um, listening with Lou, Lou I'm going to tell you my story. I still colored in between the lines because although this person didn't want to be with me because we were still married, I kind of chose to stay to myself. Um, uh, stay, you know, not talking to nobody celibate because the covenant was under with me, that person and God. And regardless of whether or not they was running around, you know, cheating lines, still and doing all that stuff, Pisces, me, um, I've always known to keep my hands clean. So ever since the last time I got my head knocked off and I got back, the message has been to continue to keep your hands clean because you will be blessed as long as you keep your hands clean. So just because this person is running around whoremongering and doing that type of behavior, it's not for two wrongs don't make a right. So you can choose to do what you want, but I chose to honor my covenant and wait until I got divorced. Now, that's when I started basically trying to make moves, though, because uh, of the fact that I don't need to be tied to you if you out here doing that. So when they walk away, we are officially released. So technically, under God's law, when a person and even in the Bible, it says and that could be the church's law, not really God's law, because, you know, God basically wants a person walk away and they say they don't want to be here no more. You have been released and that's it. But I still waited because laws of the land. I waited until after the court released me. And so um, because I, I honored my covenant and even still, I'm still sitting here, you know, to this day in the same position because I'm honoring covenant with God and I feel like my sexual energy is important and you shouldn't be mixing that with just no Joe Schmo. Okay. So, and on top of that, I just recently got a divorce. So it was within the past six months still. So yeah, I feel like I'll do it when I do it. Um, let me see. Man, I learned a lesson for real. I told that critter exactly that. Go and get shoo shoo. I know that's right. Um, facts. And if you don't learn your lesson with that person, you're gonna get karma. They get the hello, you're gonna get another one. You gonna get I respect that. Yes. All right, so we got keys on a string, many options, decisions, um, unconventional string of someone alone and somebody out here having one night stand. So somebody out here just sleeping around is what that looks like. Your boats are sailing in. So somebody basically might be looking good, smelling good, but they not valuing themselves at all, period, because it seems like they just being a little loose, you know, a little loose as a goose. Um, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, and closure issues. <coughs> so if somebody saying, I I'm walking away, um, and this person, whoever this person is for you, because it says they thought they could teach you a lesson, um, wanted to dim your light. They wanted to make you feel small. I feel like somebody thinks that whatever they were doing out in the street is making you feel small or hurting you or something. Meanwhile, they don't realize you're soiling or messing up your spirit. Cause all I saw was like your spirit. It's like at 50%, one side is, uh, not even 50%. Like, um, the person is slowly, but surely turning to the dark side, like, 
Um, there, it would be a battery, an image of a person. That would be the the you know how you got the battery of a the picture of a battery for your cell phone. In this case, it would be the picture of a person because this is this person's energy, and it looks like probably like they're probably this much light and the rest is dark so this would be their head this would be their feet this is where their light energy is right here and as they keep doing stuff basically thinking they're doing something to you it's like diminishing their light portion because they're soul in their spirit so that's the way they given that um somebody else it's like um receiving what you want like after this person did whatever it was they thought they could do to kind of put you in a bad situation um you getting what you need, all right? You being able to move forward and move on because it may have, you know, kind of left you stuck in a minute, a holding pattern. I don't want to say stuck, but in a holding pattern because I said yesterday, somebody's in God's waiting room. So it may not be things, you can see things happening around you and it might not feel, you know, any type of way to you. Just like you just looking at everything. So you're in the observation room, in God's waiting room, just observing the stuff and stuff is happening, but it's like, okay, I'm just going to wait on God, Okay. Um, we got facts and I waited till my son was nine months to talk to other women. I mean, other men, sorry. I waited till my son was nine months to talk to other men and I'm only mingling cause I'm ready to move on. Yeah. Walking away from a Scorpio. Yeah. Damn shady. All right. SMH motherfuckers think. They can be shady to a genuine person and get away with it. Yeah, they be thinking, but it's a no. 7.37 on the clock, y'all. But they don't realize that when that shit hits the fan and comes back down, it's going to be on them. You got that right, and that's what it's doing. It's decreasing a person's spirit. So they might not see it, but that's what's happening. Um... You don't know your own strength until it's tested. So courage in the face of opposition, whatever this person is doing or whatever they have done, you just need to know that there is a change. Change is going to come because that's the song I'm hearing. Um, sudden changes, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. I said transformation already because somebody had put a bunch of butterflies in the in the um, chat, which also um, let me know then that there was change, a change going to come, change and transformation. Because what they thought and what spirit thought was two different things. Because spirit said, no, 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 no. Not going to happen. Hey, Darisha, good morning. Oh, bismillah. <laughs> New to the channel. Thank you. Please uh, subscribe. It would totally mean the world to me and I would appreciate it. Um, That was me. <laughs> yep, that was you. And, and then it came out. So transformation. All right, it's like paying attention because I see a snake. So they're saying, watch up on it. Somebody's trying to be sneaky. Somebody has sneaky behavior or somebody trying to sneak up on you. All right, so that could be one of the things. Don't mind that text. I'll be in my head knowing what I know. Chill, I'm good. Oh, yeah, you got it. Um, I like you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, chicken noodle soup. I appreciate that. Y'all, don't forget to subscribe. Please hit that subscription button for me. All right, let's see what else we got here on this message. All right, we got 40 here compass, so directional, right? And it yeah, yesterday it has, if y'all haven't seen the lives, and y'all people that are new here, I go live every morning, 7 o'clock, between 6 and 7, 30 is the latest, but I try 7. Um, it's a lot of lives that I have that I've been doing. The messages have been, like, very clear and different, like, off the charts different so the energy that's happening right now has been like the, the channel messages are awesome so if you are new here go check out the lives please subscribe please hit the like button and thank y'all and welcome you know for being here yesterday i explained in the live um all every, all things pointing pointing north but it wasn't like north like north on the map it was like your feet being south your crown chakra being north, so opening up, opening up your third eye. All right, so decalcifying, um, cleansing, because it's like giving clarity. So that's what like the compass is like directional, and it's basically saying that direction, like making sure that everything is, um, like your pathway, the pathway, the alignment. But it's giving body image, like I said, because I keep seeing like the image. The little man on the uh, the bathroom, you know, it's given that. So that would be the icon for your your person, your your personal energy. 
Um, and so it's showing you like your chakras lighting up or the cleansing of your energy. I saw a lady yesterday talking about the Kundalini energy and she's saying, y'all, I can't even say what she said here, but she was talking about, um, you know, sex and the, the, with herself though. So sex with herself, but the, the, um, coming cycles, basically that she was using that energy to help. I feel like it's quantum leap. So I don't know if y'all been seeing that come up lately. Like um, soon, somebody's about to have a huge quantum leap. You're going to want to be propelled, propelled forward. All right. So we got 737. The angels, the angels know your true identity and are happy with your progress on your spiritual path. Allow the flow of abundance to shower down upon you. Yo, why did that just, I, it's the thing that I've been saying about y'all or to y'all about the, um, the wealth transfer. Heaven knows who you are. Even back in the day when they were going through like the kings and queens and they didn't have DNA testing and people got labeled as the king's child and they shouldn't have been labeled at the king, as the king's child because people were sleeping around and doing this, that, and a third. And they, somebody got written down. Um, in history as, you know, a royal heir, when technically they were never a royal heir because that's not even their child. Um, everybody's being unraveled, untangled, and your real DNA, who you are, what family lineage you have, is being, you're being restored, okay? So it's like generational inheritance wealth from heaven getting ready to be bestowed upon the, the, your lineage, your heritage, okay? Because of, you got mislabeled, Okay. You were said to be something that you were not. They said you was the peasant's child and technically you wasn't. You was the king's heir because the king was over there, you know, messing with her and the queen was really messing with somebody else and the real baby was in the slave quarters, okay? All right, so let me see. Um, 737, God all in all and the Lord shall guide you continually and satisfy your soul in drought and strengthen your bones and you shall be like be like be like a watered um uh i don't know what the rest of it is be like a watered and then it says clearing chakras yes in spirit form yeah yes um but i gotta stop worrying about this dude and know i am protected heavily protected honey right now everybody's on guard all right so it's like the uh the guardians imagine in your mind like you standing in the middle giving a uh and it's all surrounding you in a circle and you got big giant angels just all standing around listening waiting for somebody to say something like don't even mention that person name um yes i've been seeing quantum leap and timelines jumping exactly um we got uh chicken noodle sun series you most definitely do if you feel like you need to put yourself first that's that what you need to do exactly hey love sex good morning um sun siri choose you always choose you yes because guess what you can't do nothing to help nobody else y'all see i got stork in my hand so that's bringing creation new life um i'm a part of the tuatha the dan tribe i hope i said that right blessings um I'm working on the chakras and making sure that I'm ready for the next steps. Amen. I'm a royal in my dreams right now. Amen. Good morning, beautiful. Good morning, Keita. Good morning. Um, good morning, Catherine. I have stepped into my Empress energy and I can really feel the difference. And what put me in that energy is knowing what I deserve. Amen, chicken noodle soup. I know that's right. If you know who you are and you know what you deserve, that's the energy. You're going to make somebody treat you as such. So, Kevin of Dallas Way, um, garden in like a spring of water. Those waters do not fall, fail. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, that was the continue from the message. I was like, hold on. Let's stop that water. A watered garden and like a spring of water whose waters do not fail. Amen. I like that. Um, Keita Tamisa said, good morning. Chicken noodle soup. I love that man. And Lord knows I don't want to leave, but I couldn't just hold on to something that keeps dragging me down. Girl, I love mine too. I still love him, but guess what? He can go go with God. Get somebody else to do it. Okay? I feel you on all the way, chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle, I will not go back to Aaron. Honey, 
Why? You know, you know what I tell, I teach people here, unserious. You got to be mindful in your spirit because remember, with Lot's wife, when God tells you to leave a situation, circumstances, or a place, if you turn back around, you're gonna turn into a pillar of salt. And why would you want to be a salty b i t c h? Okay, <laughs> you don't want to be a salty b i t c h. All right, that that's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> every time you turn around and look at something behind you it always make you mad you don't want that you don't need that type of energy that type of negativity in your life <laughs> i know right see what i'm saying all right we got somebody may have been born in 71 or 70s baby here we got queen sitting on top of your throne queen energy which is given i'm a boss because i hear uh khalees i'm boss say all right, so somebody getting new energy, but the stork also brings new beginnings, new life, new babies. So new babies could be a physical baby, a real baby. It could also be a business, like, you know, something that's brand new. So something more things than that. Something that you love, that you cherish, that you're calling your baby. Because in my mind, I thought baby, like, you know, it would be for me. For me, it would be like a new man. And I would be like, what's up, baby? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That type of vibe. So for me... Because I ain't having no babies. And, you know, business is definitely, I'm definitely open to receiving that. But if it's a baby, baby, not unless it's, you know, a certain baby. But for me pushing it out, yeah, y'all can get somebody else to do it. If somebody else can have it, then yes, amen. <laughs> but, yeah, it's going to need a set of parents. Because when I want to send it back, then, yeah, y'all going to have to get somebody else to do it. I'm going to love it and all that. But, yeah, here. So, new stuff. New things, all right? So, compass. Setting the direction for new stuff is what it's saying. So don't be talking to me right now about nothing old because well, apparently we not there. <laughs> so <laughs> we apparently talking about the all directions point to new things, new beginnings, new blessings. All right. All right. We got Tamisa says 70s baby here. Do not stay stagnant. Amen. Um, and I'm going to do that from here on out because i'll be learning my lesson about staying in situations that i have and was supposed to elevate from girl you best to know it and i'm telling you that's all i that was the lesson god told me to leave and not to turn around and mind you it, listen if you check my page you will know that i was in i'm still in love with this man okay because i just wanted to be with that man but god said that man don't want to be with you and girl it's time to go 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 be with somebody that i'm sending you to be with you because, you know, he was it for you, but you wasn't it for him. And you would, if you love somebody, you really want them to experience that type of love as well. Yes, God, I do. Okay, goodbye. See you. And and that was it from there. Drop that mother sucker off. And I got back. Didn't look, didn't ask. And then all of a sudden, stuff just started coming. People saying stuff. Y'all see the good look, look, the lucky charm? Stuff just started to come. Birds of a feather flock together. Somebody's being told to watch out for their group of friends. All right, so if somebody wants to give the message, one, two, two, if you can um, put it in there, one, two, two, and we got 13. So somebody's number being 13, because six and seven is 13. <laughs> um, I put that on my own mama, on my hood. I look fly, I look good. You can't touch my back. Wish you could. <laughs> I look too fly. I, look too I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> when you really an empress that's right he was a lesson you were a gift i know that's right to me so let her know darisha snowden i've been walking about from all types of men that cannot accept my love in many ways and 11 year marriage with an aquarius and recently a leo okay started my business love sex says she started her business congratulations love stacks all right we got birds and we got clover so the number synchronicity is 12, um, 1, 2, 2. All right, so what would that be? We got 13. So that's 25, 27. So 27 or 72, which is also 9. This is, this is an owl here. All right, owls are uh, wisdom, wisdom, change, and intuition. Two plus, uh, three plus two equals five. Yeah, Um. no, no, no. I'm talking about these cards down here. So that's where I got the numbers to, from two, right here and these. Um, but yeah, so we got that. <laughs> Love stacks, hey. 
I know that's right. One plus two plus three. And then two plus three equals five. Okay, so we got that. All right, let's see what we got here. 122 encourages manifestation of your goals and aspirations. Y'all better know that. Y'all hear that? 122 encourages manifestation of your goals and your aspirations here. All right, where we at with this? All right, so what's today? Today is Wednesday. I feel like I'm going to do maybe one card pulls with y'all. How about that? Um, Any new subscribers here? If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I totally appreciate it. We got the bear here. Why is this giving spirit animal? Bear, bears are power. I don't know what all the things that are uh, associated with that, but the 27th, 227. Uh-huh, that's exactly right. That's the 27th. Hump day. Happy hump day. All right, so bear hug, a bear, something about being strong or strength. Um, the numbers 10 also there is a completion, which is um, 15 and 10 is 25. And then I feel like like somebody talking about you right now because my ears just went on high alert. We also have 333 three, three, and why it's like breaking something down, something in multiples of three. So either way, I feel like because three people, it could be um, the sun, moon and the stars are three elements, sun, moon and stars um the father the son the you know holy spirit um what is that uh what other things come in three it's a whole lot of them um because i can't think right now sun moon and stars what else y'all either way something that came in threes it came in threes we got think things through from all, all perspectives, precision, articulate. So knowing something. Good morning, Roy. How are you? Bismillah. I'm not supposed to be saying good morning again. Uh, I forgot. Bismillah. 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 Chicken noodle soup. Yeah, okay, earth angels ain't always sweet and shit. We got to be able to fight demons too. You got to know when it's time to flip that switch though. Honey, this is my motto. This is my saying, okay? You got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, know when to run, okay? It, it counts in spiritual warfare. Sometimes you got to know when to stand your guard of ground, when to hold them. Sometimes you got to know when you at a loss and, you know, it's time to retreat. <laughs> no, like, I'm, I'm going to walk away or I'm going to back away, but you ain't scaring nothing. I'm going to just let you, you know what I'm saying, have that because, you know, this is me turning the other cheek. And then sometimes you got to just be gone. Like some things just is the listen, get somebody else to do that. Cause I'm gonna go this way, okay? So that's right. You gotta choose and pick your battles. It's having discernment and trusting your intuition, okay? So that's when I use that. You gotta know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, and know when to run. And in this case, spirit said, um, you're not allowed to touch something. So somebody thought they could touch you, put their hands and feet on you, enter into, it was basically given spiritual trespassing. So somebody trying to spiritually trespass upon you, hold on y'all, some cards fell on the ground. Somebody trying to spiritually trespass against you and spirit said, no, 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 no. That's not what you're going to do. That's not how this is getting done. This is not how this is going to be. So we got, you needing to take a closer look at something, heart here, clover, which was also here, and labyrinth, labyrinth, I don't know how to say this word, it's a maze, just so y'all know, because I know what it is, but labyrinth, um, but it's upside down, so it's like somebody, it's like an illusion, but you already trapped in here, so I don't know how that would be, we got the three wise men, I know that's right. Um, but something that needs to have a closer look at it. And I feel like heart is basically saying like, don't get manipulated or don't like it's head over heart is what it gives, but somebody wearing their heart on the sleeve. So it's almost like your heart being in it. Like you could be too close to the situation is what it's given. Um, so that, that type of vibe. All right. Uh, Labyrinth, also a good old school movie. I know that's right. Good morning, Robert. Robert said correct. Omniscience, omnipresent, and omnipotent. Is, oh, exactly. Um, I know. I don't believe what the fuck they said. None of it. Not a 
not a dang on thing. Having hell and purgatory. Um, yeah, I I've, I've been trying to learn head over heart more. Morning. Um, welcome, Bruce. Thank you for being here. I don't even listen because I know he can get in my head and play with it. Yes, exactly. Three days and nights in the belly of a large fish. Yes. Um, and that also is giving me something when it says, like, me telling you to do something. I told you to go somewhere, and I told you to move. At this time, you didn't move. So I had to come get a whale to come scoop you up and go drop you off to this place. We are empaths. People always trying to get in our magic. Yes. Um, and, again, y'all, if y'all are new here, please subscribe. But also go look at the other lives because the last past couple days, the messages have been, like, off the charts um, and totally different for me. So, they thought they could teach you a lesson, wanted to dim your light. Spirit doesn't agree. Somebody thinking they could, you know, intervene, interfere. Uh, to me, it's given a lot of energy of trying to see you fail or trying to just hinder you in some form or fashion. Trying to keep you in a very uh, stressed out type of energy. Meanwhile, spirit saying, no, 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 no. I need them calm, cool, calm, and collective because quantum jumping. Y'all are about to take a quantum leap. Somebody's about to get a huge level up because Pisces energy has been on the on 10, but it's been so positive. Like the energetic shift is happening and somebody wants to kind of throw that off for you. It's a no. Spirit says no. Um, what else we got? I don't even listen. Three days and three nights. We're on empaths. We got Mother Maiden and Crone. Um, yellow hearts for sure, Sun Siri. Um, all right, so it's time to move on, time to move forward. Um, it's basically talking about solutions now. We know what the problem is. We already went through that a million and six times. You keep wanting to talk about the problem, but now let's talk about the solution. The, the problem, we didn't already heard it. Now what's the solution? So somebody needs to find a solution here. All right, we got um, invocation. It's basically telling somebody to do a spell, and this is the thing. Um, spells could be talking, it could be cooking, it could be, but this looks like they saying a real actual spell because I hear be more witchy or tap into your energy or your power. So invocation is the beginning, the start of something. So it's time for you to in start your rituals. This could be like springtime. It could be spring cleaning, um, something that you do. So some people just don't take it, you know, to like, oh, I got to cast a circle and I got to do this and I got to do that. If you do that type of stuff, then yes. But if you don't, then it's as simple as clean it, spring cleaning. Lighting candles, making your area good, because I hear cleanliness is next to godliness. And so quantum leaping, you want to be extra light. And this is why I've been talking to y'all about cleaning y'all space for so long. And from last year, last year, I started telling y'all that was the message. Cleaning your energy, your energetic field, because y'all don't realize having a whole dirty ass place is going to weigh you down. You want to take a quantum leap and a quantum jump the luggage be careful what you take with you um because you don't realize a lot of this stuff is weighing you down these people's thoughts these people energy is weighing you down but also your surroundings is weighing you down do you know the difference and when you wake up and your house is clean then when you go to bed and your house is dirty that difference so just imagine if you got the energy of waking up and your house is clean and you're in the middle of a quantum leap Everything feels light and airy. You in the middle of a quantum leap and your house is filthy and nasty. It's going to feel like a space shuttle trying to lift up with a, a that a massive ship hanging on attached to it. It's not going to work. Um, standing in your power and walking away. I did a spell. I did a banish X spell and a hex removal, negative negativity removal. Um, chicken noodle soup. See, I don't condone, um, and you can do what you want, but I don't condone like um, certain spells only because to me, I and you can do what you want, but I don't want to inadvertently curse myself because sometimes we do things and we don't realize the effect that it has on a person. So when I'm going to get you going, I ain't going to banish you. I'm going to just go about my way because I'm going to banish myself, basically. Poof, I'm going to be gone because... If I do something, a banishing spell to you, and it does something 
that I kind of, you know, might not have wanted to happen, but it did happen, then basically I just cursed you. And now spiritually I'm in trouble. So I'm not, I don't really want to ever give people that much power. So nine times out of 10, I'll do it to myself. So like I done told people on this channel, when I want to get rid of people, I create my own towers. I tell God, I'm, I'm done with this and you see where this is going. So, and then all of a sudden stuff starts crashing and burning around me, but I got to be okay with the results of it. So to me, it's like, um, and like I said, you can do what you want, but it is sometimes I think when people of, I've, I've only done a state sage much. Oh, okay. Yeah. So like, and like I said, I'm not saying anything you could do what you want because everybody's spirit is called to do something different. And that's what I tell people on my channel. My pathway is not the same as your pathway. You may be being called to do certain things. I'm not allowed to do certain things because I know that I'm what I'm supposed to do. You see what I'm saying? So if they telling you to do that, then you do what you will. Nobody's to judge you because spiritually and spirituality is about you tapping into your energy, dealing with your spirit guides and you getting closer to God. And however you and God work that out is not for me to judge. So since I've read it, that's the only reason why I wanted to clear it up because I've read it and then that means I put it out. But so that why I also had to get a flip side of that. So as I'm reading y'all comments, I might say something on the other side of that only because I'm in charge of the platform. So if I say something and then somebody only hears that portion, then... It's my fault that that happened. So that's why I'm saying I'm not judging if that's what your body and your spirit called you to do. But the reason why I don't do them is because it's like a return to center. I don't do return to centers either, but I hear a lot of people saying, oh, I did a return to center. Well, you do that, but I don't want to do a return to center. I release it back in the hands of God because God going to deal with them better than I could potentially deal with them. But if I do a return to center and... Sometimes we don't know our own strength, even in like when you're doing something with your finger and you could potentially do something like, you know, OK, I'm sending it back. But because I sent it back with the force that I have. Yeah. So I don't even want to do that because I don't want to inadvertently get myself into trouble. Um, but what's for you is for you, period. Yes, it's time for my annual Kwan Yin ceremony. I'm learning to embrace my witchiness. I used to feel weird about it because the judgment I get, but I had to realize like I'm a boss as person. If a person can't accept me for who I am, then that's their loss. You better say that again. Amen. That's when you're stepping into your power. I've only done a stage smudge. I felt like that too, but I thought if it more like taking control back of my life, stay in the light. I told y'all, I said, it's been, the message has been, Pisces, keep your hands clean. You're always going to win. Keep your hands clean. Um, I had to remove that energy out of my space. Yes, clean, cleansing and clearing your, your space is protecting you. So definitely, I'm not wishing bad on him or messing with his free will. Yes, do not invite the dark ones. I'm just, I mean, but guess what? Sun Siri, I ain't going to lie to you about that too. You said don't invite the dark ones, but sometimes the dark ones be the one helping. So again, I'm going to just say that you don't want to invite anything that you cannot control because if you don't know, then you don't know. But sometimes some dark ones get invited because if I help you do something that, like I said, is not going to hurt, harm, or endanger anybody, but it's something that they want that I can kind of negotiate or bargain with, by all means. Again, it's what you and your spirit and what you are being told to do. Um so it's just that energy. I'm just clearing her out of my space. Now nah, I'm not going to return to center. I'm going to just clear my energy. Yes. Um, I'm not trying to mess with nobody's life. Just trying to clear out mine. That was my intention behind the spell. Yes. Uh, and like I said, because guess what? All are all, e you know why they have a saying called necessary evil? Because even God has a hit squad of angels in the Bible that get sent to kill. So certain things are necessary, but it's based off of what God is saying, like what you are being dealt with or what you and God are doing. So that's the thing. Like, I can't tell nobody what to do because I don't know what you're, you and God worked out. 
All I can do is try to sit here and give the best guidance that I can. And I may not always be right. That's why, uh, you know, I got helpers. That's why I got people who I listen to and people who are coming along. Y'all coming along. I'm sure I got people who are not in the chat that listen, that kind of feel like they belong here, you know, and they might not have had the strength to kind of step up yet, or they might not have the courage to step up yet. But eventually I'll get to meet them or we'll get to, you know, kind of talk or communicate or whatever. And then they'll be my teachers as well, or they'll be my helpers as well. So sometimes you're the teacher, sometimes you're the student, but we always, always learning. Always. Um, I'm too scared to do stuff like that, like invocation stuff. Spells are about intention. That's what I just said about being an earth angel. Yes, but guess what? Sometimes earth angels are sent to be karma to smack your head off. So that's the thing. When you know to hear God's voice... Um, if God tell you to go and do certain things, then yeah. But also, you know that if certain things are said, you know, that's not God. God don't sow confusion. It's going to be very clear. It's going to be very much for you to know that I'm talking to you. God is talking to you. The universe is talking to you. I don't know what 53 means to somebody, but we got 53, 84, um, 93. So we got that. Um, that's what I just said. Uh, Eddie Murphy, evil is necessary and necessary is good. Yes. Sometimes it's, that's just a fact. I feel like as long as you ain't doing black magic or voodoo, really trying to control somebody or take away their free will. Yes, you cannot take away anybody's free will. That is a major no, no, no. You do that and then your ass is grass, okay? Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Yes. Yeah, I totally believe that. You do that, then you on a different level in, in God's speed because good God. All right, we got ritual candles here, so they could potentially be telling somebody to get your ritual candles here. I told y'all I've been burning candles for the last past couple weeks. They are on steady on go because the energy that has been sent out is just horrible. And I ain't with it. I like peace, so it's been very peaceful in here. And that's the way I like it. Um, I did a spiritual bath yesterday and it was also different. So I'm trying to figure out why now my spiritual bath has turned into something different. And if you are a member of the channel, then you know I have a lot of spiritual baths that are on um, inside the members area on the community tab. You can also get them. They can be printed off to you too. So that's the other thing. Um, or they should be. They should be downloadable. Um, we got fulfillment. So they're telling somebody that a a spell has to be fulfilled invocation fulfillment and magic so i feel like the golden chalice it's like somebody's initiation rites. so somebody's about to get turned on that's basically what they're saying oh or turned up because it says intens intensification so somebody about to get turned up all right so wherever you thought you didn't shaman and then death so that's an ending and then grounding. So somebody's about to get turned up. And then clearing. I told y'all, clearance. Clearing energy, clearance. You've been and clearance. That's what? Clearance, the, the amount of space that's above something, but clearance is also takeoff. So you've been granted clearance for takeoff. Since I've done that, I felt happy again. Amen. I know that's right. You gotta do what you gotta do. White and black back uh TP taper back candle burning. Girl, I know that's right. All right, let's see what else we got here. So, you matter. This card been sticking out here all day. I was shuffling this thing and this card fell out. So, I figured I'd save it right there for somebody to know you matter totally and completely, okay? So, don't, don't let nobody think, let you think nothing different. Because, like I said, the message, we got to go with the message, what the message was. And mind y'all, I was given that message yesterday, and I swear I wanted to come and be like, okay, we're just going to do the live. But then I was told to wait until this morning, so apparently this morning was important. Oh, oh what I was going to tell y'all about the spiritual bath, but somehow right now they got me doing a spiritual bath, and it's something different because it's days. And I've never done a spiritual bath that lasted days. So if somebody is doing that or if somebody has done that um, and they're in the chat, can you tell me, like, well, if you can tell me because sometimes, you know, I know that's a thing too, but what is the significance of that? Like the spiritual bath over days. And I'm not talking about one 
like different baths. I'm talking about the same bath. So can somebody, has anybody ever done that? Um, been in love with somebody who doesn't reciprocate is draining as fuck. They are stealing your energy and then projecting theirs on you. And that's why you've been feeling bad about yourself. Well, chicken noodle soup, you got to be new here because, honey, we would have already cleared that energy out for you because they already know we do not play that over here. We call our energy back um, as often as we have to, but it's a reset on Sunday, okay? So that way we ain't got to worry about it. Godspeed. Get going, okay? So, okay, I thought I missed a live and fell... Fell right to sleep. Tamisa, <laughs> you was already in here. What do you mean? What you mean? What do you mean? Um, A spiritual bath that is lasting days? Girl, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I need somebody that knows about it to tell me. If they, if they, if you know about that, then tell me because I want to know. If not, email me because if you don't want to put it in here, then let me know. Um, you said, yup, they sure do. Um, Darisha Snowden. Okay, so what is that? No, the live last night. I was on live last night, but for some reason it was, I was already tired. So I don't know if that was energy that I was sending out. Cause I literally had to say something to somebody in the, in the chat. Cause they was getting on my nerves, but I was there and didn't realize that it was on private the whole time to me. So. Um, cleanse your chakras, revitalize your aura, and leaves you feeling more pleasant, present, and an extremely positive state of mind. What you talking about, Tamisa? Good morning, Isaac. Your question. I don't understand. What do you mean, lasting days? Like a spiritual bath that lasts days. Like, that's what I'm saying. So, I, I need somebody that knows about it. Um, no chicken noodle soup. It's something that's already, like draining of your energy to a person that won't reciprocate all right my email is spirit light worker 1111 also chicken noodle soup we got a chat that i hold on let me see if i can put the chat the new chat in there so y'all listen this is the chat instagram chat if you're on instagram and you are trying to get into the chat that way we could talk like and um this week we are also doing i'm doing setting back up ladies night okay so um let me see send in instagram all right copy all right let me see if this thing will, let me put this link in here all right that's the that's the chat that's y'all see that golden girl 302 that's my other channel so if you're not following that channel then go to that channel um but also that link right there is the link to the group chat that we have that's on instagram um and we be in there all the time so you can come right over there and talk to me it's much like a ritual bath in ancient Rome. To me, I know what a spiritual bath. I'm talking about the spiritual bath that lasts days. Like I'm not talking about that because it's a lot of spiritual baths on the wall. But so I'm I'm just trying to figure out what is the significance of why I'm doing the one that I'm doing now and why is it like that the way it's being done. Um, and again, I can't explain it. It's just somebody that knows it would automatically. They know it, like just by the things that I'm saying. If a person was doing it, they would know about it. So that's why I'm only saying it like that because it's not telling me to tell people what it is. It's asking, it's me saying, I'm going to give you these pieces. If you know about it, then you'll, then, you know, they'll know. Oh, okay. You need those folks who know. Yes. Yes. Because now something different is happening. I got told something different yesterday, which is, you know, in a process of, you know, full moon stuff. And I'm saying, okay, so why did it go that way, though? You see what I'm saying? So I don't know why it went that way. And I'm sure I'll eventually find out I did it. But I was just confused as to why did it change? Because I, I the spiritual baths that are on the wall... Um, been on heavy herbs heavy. Yes, I've been on herbs heavy. Yeah. Chat is messing up on me for me so bad. Yes, I understand. Um, I'm sorry, what's your email address? Oh, hold on, here it is. Oh, that's not it. That is wrong. Hold on, let me see if I can erase that. That's not it. Hold on. I messed that up. All 
All right, y'all, for anybody that wants it, um, that is even looking my inside the chat, my email, spiritlightworker1111 at gmail.com. It is in the chat. My other channel's in the chat also. Golden Girl 302, that's me. That's my other channel. That's also my name on Instagram too. Exactly that way. So if you want to find me on Instagram, that's it right there. So you matter here. And also, let's see what else we got. If y'all haven't been looking at the shorts, look at the shorts because I've been doing a lot of spiritual shorts for y'all too. It's some funny stuff. It'll help you, um, you know, get a laugh for the day too. I feel the same way. So somebody feels the same way you do. I lie awake thinking about our future. And then we also have, if I follow you, I could lose everything. So somebody may be moving here. But or it, it's given religious. So like if I follow you during your spiritual path, I could lose everything. This person could be religious and you being spiritual. Y'all may come from two different backgrounds. Um, somebody has their somebody else. So somebody could be 53 years old. Somebody 42 years old. OK, let's see. Somebody I need more balance. So need more balance needs to be brought into a situation. Somebody here, do you ever, do you even see me that, that way? So somebody wants to know if you even see them in that way, like to be in a relationship or to love on or, you know, just to be connected. I'm too afraid to talk here. Somebody said, Darisha says, I'm 42. Okay. So basically we are crystals and it's keep charging and cleansing, doing a bath for days. Girl, it's been different. Like I said, even my messages have been different. So... Um, somebody wants to know if you will choose them. All right, so I'm gonna bring this to a close. And if anybody wants any readings today, I feel like um I can shut this down and then we can go right into the other phase because I don't want to add it to this. So I'm gonna just go live again. I'd helping you yeah, us to link with the lines and raise the vibration, vibration of the collective collection. All right, did y'all see that um that link that I put in there to the other to the other group chat too? So that's in there. And then also I have um, a link. Let me see. This is to the Google. The Google went um, on Friday. We're going to do ladies night again. But that's going to be hosted on my other channel. Um, probably. So I'm going to send. I'm going to put this in the group chat. Um, also for y'all. So you can see that. These are chats where I be in them personally. And you can come right in there and talk to me. Um because sometimes it's easier done that way. The group chat, if you haven't subscribed to the channel or you have not joined the channel under a membership, you should also do that because we have one-on-ones. Last night I was in there, I don't know why it got put on private, but I did actually go over there last night and sat there for like 10 minutes and um, didn't realize it was on private. And But the video is in there, so you'll see me just sitting there. Um, I didn't realize it was on private till this morning. It was on whoever had the link, which I don't know why that was, but so that was weird. And then this morning I set up a live when I first got here. I got here exactly at seven o'clock, y'all, on the dot and sat here for a couple minutes before I realized that the actual live had been put on private. So don't ask me what that was about, but... So something about privacy or maybe needing time because last night I just didn't, I didn't have it in me, okay? To, to you know, deal with whatever was going on with the people and everything else. All right, so let me see. I'm right here. All right, this is, I'm going to go in call me and how do I share this? So that way, in case y'all want to go to the other, oh, here it is, send out invite link. All right, so if you're watching right now and you are trying to figure out how to get in contact with me, these are all ways to get in contact. These are all ways that you can kind of uh, engage with me even throughout the day. Right here. To me, so those are all the links too. So that one right there, that's the Google Meet, the join thing. Wonder what that was about. Was it 
with the lot girl i don't know like i said but last night i just wasn't with it it was a couple things that was happening that the energy was just draining and that's what i named the, the reading um rich rising now see i like that christine got a good one rich rising i like that so we can say that welcome um christine Kristen, wise goddess welcome it's vindication season <laughs> say that amen all right, so I'm gonna shut this down. Then I'm gonna come back and do another live. So if you wanna have, if you have questions or any of that, remember tarot readings are for entertainment purposes only. And if you got, it's probably gonna be something fun because when normally that happens, it's a lot of laughs that happen because spirit be, you know, got a sense of humor. And for all the new people, I go live every morning between six and seven thirty at the latest. Okay, so schedule me in pencil me in i i do show up i've been being very consistent for the last past couple weeks with it so i will be here thank you thank you See, to me some girl get off this live and hang out and come right back okay so it's gonna be like in two seconds so if y'all got questions get them ready and just so y'all are aware super chats are welcome not necessary but welcome you know bless me in the channel it would be great um or subscribe to the channel that would be great so you don't have to but it is welcome. Thank you and see y'all shortly. Go with God.